Welcome to Ian's Wine and Cheese Buffet. Um, <clears throat> the wife's upstairs doing a charity fundraiser for Georgia English Bulldog Rescue. Uh, that's where we got our uh, little girl Maddie. Some of you have seen a picture of her. Uh, good to support rescue. They rescue English Bulldogs and French Bulldogs. Fix them up. Make them nice. Find good homes for them. And they live long, happy lives. Uh, GeorgiaEnglishBulldogRescue.com, by the way. Shameless plug. Uh, it is a non-profit. So, that being said, <laughs> out of the way. There we go. See? I didn't plug, like, and subscribe. Oh, shoot, I said it. Um, our, I guess, sort of PVA glue, kind of, uh, window maker. Um, yeah, made a nice little lens. Uh, this took a week, <laughs> basically, to dry. Uh, and it's still, it's very soft and flexible. And it sucks. It just sucks. I'm not happy with it. Um, it's, it's going bye-bye. Oh, oh, it's so, yeah, that's all coming out of there. Um, we're going to get rid of that. So, shout out to channel subscriber Allison Fort on the clutch. Came through and said, get some clear UV resin. And I was just like, oh, like the stuff for the nails. And um, yeah, so if this works, uh uh, Allison will be getting a free 35th scale, uh, to me, a model tank, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's where we're going. We just get all this, this garbage out of here. Um, whatever, you don't want to watch me do that. So what we did get was, we, we stole my wife's, uh, uh, manicure ultraviolet curing light. Okay. I didn't have to buy one of those, luckily. We bought some Mr. Resin with some Japanese characters on it. Uh, UV compatible crystal clear low viscosity fast curing and we got some uh, some pigments so we got orange and we got red perfect for the front markers turn signals and uh, the rear tail lights so we'll be we'll be making our own lenses in situ using the clear resin um, we got a bunch of bulbs got some uh, little three millimeter LEDs these things are so cheap on Amazon what is this uh, it was like, yeah, 750 of these things. It was like, I don't know, $12. It's insane. It, and it comes with, uh, comes with resistors. Uh, we shouldn't need the resistors because we're using the Tamiya TLU-01 light unit, uh, which puts out the correct voltage. So I am going to hopefully not resin myself to the work surface. Uh, I, you can imagine how sideways this could go with, with my track record of, uh, gluing myself to things. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna clean out this stupid canopy glue window maker junk uh it looks fine i mean it looks okay it's got the slightest tinge of yellowness to it but we were going to paint them anyway with clear orange clear red etc um oh or my chipping stuff came in so this is uh kind of mild chipping fluid and then heavy chipping fluid uh this is as opposed to using hairspray which you know results can vary with hairsprays it really depends on the hairspray um, I don't know if they still sell Aquanet from the 70s, uh, but we're gonna, this, I guess we just kind of spray it on there with an airbrush, let it dry, then spray over it with our final color, and then, uh, let that sort of dry, and, yeah, let that dry, and then we wet it, and then, I've never done this type of, uh, hairspray chipping before. Uh, okay, so we'll be back with, with something to go, oh yeah, we got little light bucket guys, um, that fit... They're just ever so slightly bigger than our headlight lenses. And we're just going to hot glue all that stuff inside uh, when we're ready for that. So, be right back. Oh my god, Allison is a genius. I just poured a little a little puddle of it somewhere and I... Uh, it is rock hard. After literally two minutes in there. Well, I did two minutes on one side and one minute I flipped it. But yeah, three minutes. And we got a lens. Seven days. And they still sucked. All right, Allison wins a prize. I know you're watching the video. Um, email me at pitstainhobbies at gmail.com and we will arrange to get you your Tamiya model tank kit out to you. All right, 35th scale. They're actually quite nice. I got them in an estate sale. I've been saving them for a special occasion such as viewers' top tip of the century to me. Like, I've gotten some really good advice from a lot of you. This one, oh boy. This one, this one, it did it, it, great. Thank you. I'm going to mix up some goop, and then we'll show you the live doing it, okay? 
I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I've got some of the goop mixed up in this little cup with uh, a few drops of the orange pigment fluid. And we'll pour a little bit into each lens area. Okay, all right. Okay, there's a couple tiny baby air bubbles in there. I'm not perfect at this, not quite sure. And dear God, that light is bright. So just so you don't stare at the black light, you shouldn't. I got this little Mylar bag and I'm just gonna put that in front of it. And she's set on 120 seconds. And after 120 seconds, now let me clean off my little mixy blade and this little silicone cup. Um, I'll do my best to clean it out. I probably should have worn rubber gloves for this. Um, Allison will probably correct me there. Um, okay, that's it. I'm done saying your name for the video. Your 15 minutes of fame is over. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Our little cuppy cup is a little silicone cup. That cleaned out pretty... Actually, if you just dried the resin in here, probably under the UV, it would probably just pop right out because it's silicone. We'll try that later. We'll try that when we do the tail lights on the main body here. Not, not quite done yet. Oh, this is like an easy bake oven for old nerds. I love this. This is fantastic. I am so excited. This discovery changes, well, it changes making lenses, I guess. But this is great. This is great stuff. Oh, it looks so crafty here. And they get, the, <clears throat> they have a million colors of uh, pigments. I just needed red and orange for this project. But I got blue, I got yellow, I got green. Who knows what the possibilities are with this stuff. Um, and, oh, still going. So we're just going to do this live. <clears throat> Two minutes on the timer. Yep. That's Man, that's awesome. That is so cool. It just makes friggin' glass, basically. Oh, let's see. This is amazing. I don't, I don't have enough uh, talking to fill up the two minutes. Uh, it's, 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 that's a first for me. Let's see how this comes out. I'm excited. Lights off. How are these? Hey, they're hard. That sounded weird. Okay, let's, uh, let's get them out of here. Oh, this worked perfect. I just put masking tape on the backs. And, okay. So, we need to cure them from behind as well. And I could put a little in there to let's give it another minute on the back. Eh, we'll give them two minutes. No, we'll give it one minute. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, okay. Eye cancer. I don't know how bad it is to stare at that. Oh, no, I do. I know staring at UVC, uh, which is a germicidal UV lamp, is extremely dangerous for your eyesight. This is like a UVA, UVB. I guess it's sort of like a tanning bed, which, you know, they never really were... Uh, telling you to lay under those things too much uh, back in the 80s quite the uh, quite the thing nowadays it's I think they're banned almost it's crazy but uh eh, whatever is what it is while we're waiting for that light to go hmm little step two as Steve Wallace the uh, stealth camper says mmm oh my god just a variety of weird things I watch on YouTube you people are watching me and you may think, oh, am I weird? No, no, no. There's way weirder stuff than this. I promise you that, my friends. Let's see here. Come on. Yep. Okay. Terrific. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, come on. Focus, you friggin'. Oh, it's great. I love it. Okay, this one's a little bulbous. Uh, come on. It's a little bulbous on the outside, but... You know what? I'm okay with that. They're both a tiny... I might have put a little... A little too much resin in there. That's awesome. You know what? Close enough for government work. I'm quite pleased with it. I could put a little more in the back if I wanted to, like, really fill it out. But I think this is perfect. There we go. Allison's special resin uh, turn signal lenses. Ah, a nice amber color, too. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to back these holes with masking tape <clears throat> and I'm going to mix up a batch of uh, red and we will do the same thing 
except way more awkwardly um, because I don't have a uh, like a whatchamacallit like you know one of those flashlights I'm gonna have to like go like this to cure it oh we probably don't want to use this thing in a hotel bedroom let's see is there any nasties is there anything really gross around here huh let me check my pants hold on no we're good okay we're, we're all clear all right so i'm gonna make the tail uh tail lamp lenses and uh we will be back awesome i oh, love this thing this is great oh look at that we got tail lights look at those that's awesome we got a little uh, uh er, hold on little uh little red three millimeter led look at that look at that oh oh yeah okay allison don't forget to email me pitstainhobbies at gmail.com for your free kit for the first ever award for awesome viewer tip of the century there we go pro tip everybody um always listen to others in the hobby they may have something in their brain you do not and it is awesome when it works out look at that all right constructive criticism and feedback is how we all get better i one of the ways obviously um so i was uh i had some leftover goop in the cup and i just wanted to see ah uh, that's how the cup cleans you just cure any leftover goop in the cup and it all just comes right what's hot Ooh, toasty oh it's still this one's still a little rubber it was very thick still a little rubbery let's see how hard we can get it oh dear i just said that okay Sorry about that, Allison. <laughs> my my only verified female viewer. And uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, well, you know, my wife has to live with me, so you've got it easy. Only a few minutes a week. Let's see here. Um, I'm also gonna throw my tail lights. Uh, sorry, my front uh, turn signals, marker lights, whatever. I'm gonna throw them in there as well for another couple minutes. Okay, so that's awesome. Huge weight off my shoulders there because the canopy glue. Uh, solution was not a solution. Um, yeah, we thought it would work, but, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of did, uh, but on such a large opening. So, like, normally this stuff's great for making windows on something like small model, you know, uh, Star Trek ships. Like, if you're building an Enterprise or something, you got those little tiny itty bitty windows, you know, you don't want to use the plastic that you shove in the window and then you have to sand you just do drip, do drip, do drip, a couple drips, and, and it dries pretty, you know, well, probably overnight, and you've got a clear window. It's fine for stuff like that, clearly. People have been using it for years. Not for bigger, not for bigger things. So we'll be right back. Um, and I don't even know. I'm so excited I forgot what I'm doing today. Oh, I guess uh, we're going to figure out the LED lighting. We're going to get that wired up and sort of dry fitted. After that, it is on to uh, painting this again. So we're gonna we're gonna try out our our chipping fluid, and then throw on some of our uh, <clears throat> NATO desert khaki yellowy whatever it is uh, paint, and uh, you know whatever. Just keep watching. You'll see what happens. Who knows on this channel sometimes. Be right back, everybody. Oh boy, <clears throat> it is wine and wild up there. Um, so we, we drilled out our little marker light areas. I made a boo-boo. Oops, I could fix that. <clears throat> and we glued in some little snippets of clear sprue. And, uh, here's the front one. You can just, like, throw a light behind it. And in the back, we got that little guy. So those are cool. Uh, that plan worked, apparently. Um, it was literally just, you know, drill it out, and then I had the, 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 where's the real, come on, a square file. Here it is. It's perfectly, come on, focus. Perfectly square. We use that one to just, da, 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 da. yeah, you know how it goes. Little, little uh, hobby knife. Yeah, a little hobby knife. First blood sacrifice to the modeling gods on this model. Um, and then, you know, just our normal Tamiya Extra Thin Cement to get those in there. I may do a little bit of black tulip paint. Oh, I hit the lens mount, camera mount. Little black tulip paint, where needed, possibly. 
just to get un any unwanted light spillage out. Making progress. This is, it's fiddly little things. <clears throat> it's like I said, we're painting? Yeah, right, we're painting. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, we got a lot done today. We went to Hobby Town USA today. I had my $20 off 100 coupon. And uh, to use the 20 off 100, as you may have figured out, you have to spend $100. Spending exactly $100 at Hobby Town is like spending exactly $100 at Costco or Home Depot. You always go over. You always go over. Um, but yeah, I did get some, uh, I got some good, some, some paint. I needed paint. Always need paint. For future projects, uh, namely that Space Battleship Yamato I unboxed, that might be next on the workbench. Mm. So either way, I'm going to finish the other two lenses on here. It's coming along nicely. Uh, once those are done, uh, yeah, I still got to mock up the lighting. It's uh, that, that part is not yet fully completed. Uh, but yeah, we got we got enough LEDs to light up a Christmas tree, quite literally. There's probably more LEDs in this box than on most, yeah, 750? Probably more than most Christmas trees. Um, we'll be back with some more s something. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, terrific, here we go. Um, <laughs> a little more body mods. Um, we took the air cleaner off because it was, it was just sitting there flush. We filled in the locating pin uh, with a piece of sprue. We took some evergreen tubing <clears throat> and we actually took one of these little transmission cap things that go on the little uh, drive shafts inside the gearboxes, and we put that at the bottom to beef that up a little. Uh, that's kind of how they look, and uh, that's approximately the height. Um, so yeah, you know, I, why not? You know, we're doing all this other work. We got our front uh, turn signals installed. Uh, we're gonna clear mask over these. Sorry, liquid mask. Jesus. Uh, all our little uh, corner marker lights are in. Obviously, our tail lights look fantastic. Thank you, Allison, for that tip. We're gonna we're gonna liquid mask over those. Liquid mask over these. We're gonna pull the windows. Pull all those windows out, nice and easy. Just a bunch of screws. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little paint on this fella, and then we will start. Uh, I guess. Uh, chip, uh, doing the, uh, doing the, uh, chipping fluid, a.k.a. hairspray, uh, we'll do that, and, uh, see where this goes, all right? We'll be back. Okay, so before we start painting, let's just get a preview of the whole thing. <clears throat> We're still waiting for our liquid mask to dry, um, but we got our little, little whippy antenna, we got our duke. Uh, Anti-IED antenna. We got our liquid mask drying, looking like frickin' blue-green teal cancer. Our beautiful 50, which is coming off to go to a safe spot. Uh, yeah, there we go. It, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I like it. You know, it wasn't engineered to be like a full option kit or anything like that, or whatever but uh this thing's pretty cool and i mean for the age of it it's it's old you know that how old is this thing where's the stamping let's see if she'll focus on that 1995 focus well maybe not 95 so a few years after desert shield and desert storm uh, I guess peak popularity of the Humvee, Hummer, whatever. But yeah, okay, let me, uh, I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you what we're working with here. This is going to be basically it. All right, uh, we'll see you soon, I guess, once we uh, start doing some color coat, maybe. All right, be right back. Well, we carpet bombed it <clears throat> with our chipping fluid, and we are letting it dry. We will be, we will be right back. Sorry about that. Okie dokie. Ah, there we go. We got our desert yellowish color on there. You can see we, you know, we've modulated it. We painted right over that olive drab or what was it? It was, it was not olive drab. <clears throat> it was NATO green, actually. Um, so a lot of these things, they showed up in Iraq or Saudi Arabia, more likely. Uh, green. You know, they were all over the world. They were green. In the U.S., they were green. 
they get to the desert, they're like, oh crap, these things stick out like a sore thumb. So they just painted them in situ. You know, in theater, they got painted, and uh, the paint jobs weren't the best. So we did our chipping fluid, and what we have now is a pretty stiff, r pretty stiff bristles. I mean, these are pretty rough. You could also use a, uh, you could also use a toothbrush. So we've got a little toothbrush here also. And this is like a fairly soft toothbrush. Um, soft to medium-ish. Um, we got our, our little Yeti tumbler. Ah, uh, there we go. Got some water, which you know we're probably going to spill. And what we want to do is we want to dip this in the water and apparently this will, oh my god, it's happening people. It's happening. It's happening in real time. We're dabbing. We're poking. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that! We're breaking through the desert yellow. We're gonna go along the uh, the kick panels here. Get it nice and wet. Ah, look at that! That's so cool. This is so novel for me. You gotta be a little little rough, it seems little rough yeah we're being a little a little aggressive oh my god it's happening look at that oh this stuff is awesome I don't know if I'm ever sponge chipping again well I'll probably still still sponge chip look at that I just I just gotta see oh you gotta see the dried. That's so cool. That is some awesome chipping. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, I found my new favorite thing. I'm gonna do a whole lot more of this and I'll be back. All right, but you get the idea. It dippy dippy in the water. And then, let's say, door handles. Door handles. It takes a little while. You gotta let the water soak in and do its thing. And then you keep poking at it. And you got, you got wear, you got chipping going right through the hastily applied desert tan back down to the NATO green that was done like maybe at the factory or something with like primer and care and all that potentially oh that's so cool okay more of this and we will be back this stuff <clears throat> is officially awesome it is amazing so this is just the first stage so we have now chipped <clears throat> that's that's looking mighty good I mean that looks like beat the shit out of it in desert storm okay that's that's quite nice um, we have a lot more weathering to do after this we've also uh, <laughs> uh, to the Tamiya legends <laughs> yeah yeah you're gonna hate me um, in all the photos I saw, the suspension was painted um, as well. It wasn't done very neatly. I also cut off the front little scoopy bumper thing. Um, we got the wheels. We're going to chip these conventionally. We've got streaking grime, and we've got not really rust. We're not going to do a lot of rust because th this is mostly aluminium. Hey, Australia and New Zealand, apparently. Uh, aluminium. Um, so, not really dealing with rust. Streaking grime, obviously some oil stains near the fuel filler, um, 
you know, the normal, the normal stuff, the stuff we always put on. But this thing is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, this is the end of this part of the, the whole build series. Uh, part, this is the end of part three. Uh, part four will be back. Uh, we'll be peeling off the, uh, clear masks, because the clear mask is still... Ah! Oh, Jesus. Why am I such a klutz? It actually, look at that. We even got paint cracking from that chipping film, chipping fluid. That, it's pretty cool. Um, the mirrors, the mirrors are waiting. I gotta chip these. But either way, end of part three. We got this done. It's looking, it's looking pretty disheveled. Ah, it looks nice. It looks like we're going to like a gov auction somewhere in the middle of Arizona. And like, yeah, here you go. Not much of it left, but you know, sure, have fun. Throw a Chevy diesel in it. Ah, it's awesome. All right, we'll be back next time with more awesome weathering on our Humvee. Oh, I love this little thing. Even the wife was impressed. And she feigns being impressed most of the time. But this time she was just like, wow, that's really cool. So I told her it was hairspray. So, you know, the girl in her was like, oh, you did that with hairspray? I didn't tell her what I really used, but whatever. Either way, have fun. Enjoy your weekends. We'll see you next time. Later, guys and gals. And thanks, Allison. Yeah, we appreciate the resin.